As some of you may know, I have a GoPro camera, as I've got here. Um, now, the problem is when importing video, some of the video footage recorded with the GoPro can result in some very large files. I don't want to have to import the entire file into either iMovie or uh, Final Cut Pro, uh, whichever editing program I'm using. I want to only import clips or highlights of the actual video into my editing project. However, how do I actually cut down the video and just import the clips I'm after rather than importing the whole video? Let's take a look. Now I've got my GoPro here, this is what I use to record my footage. Now I can actually set this recording and leave it recording for a good few hours. I've got the battery backpack on the back, um, so I can set this recording and get up to about four hours worth of footage. Now I don't want to have to import the entire four hours, which may be several gigs, into my project when I only want to use maybe 10 or 15 minutes of footage throughout out of that however many gigs it comes to. So what I want to do is trim it down and only use the footage I need. So what we'll do, if we take out the GoPro from the case here and I will remove the memory card from the side like so, put my GoPro to one side and We'll insert the memory card into my laptop. If we open Finder, we can see my memory card is there. So now we simply go into my DCIM folder, my GoPro folder. I've got a file here which is two and a half gig in size. Now if I import this entire two and a half gig, once uncompressed, um, whether it's iMovie, Final Cut Pro or so on, uh, once it's uncompressed, that could be five or six gig. So I only want to use around one or a very small clip out of this entire uh, video file here. So I don't see why I, sh I should import the entire uh, five or six gigs worth of uh, footage into my project when I'm only going to be using a minute or so. So why not trim this down to the actual part of the footage you're going to be using in your project before you actually import? So if I double click on this, it will open in QuickTime Player. As I said, it's nothing very exciting here, just some sample footage I've taken in my car. We can see down here it's 22 minutes of footage. Say I only want a, a minute of this footage, I'll go to the Edit menu at the top, I'll go to Trim, there's also a shortcut there, Command and T. And that will give you this bar down the bottom. You then, just like you would on an iOS device, select the actual bit of footage you're after. So my starting point is at, let's get that to six minutes, and my ending point is six and a half minutes. So that's 30 seconds of footage that should give me. And then I'm gonna click trim at the corner here. And there we go, we can see it's given us 29 seconds of footage. If I move that to the beginning. Yeah, it's 29 seconds of footage it's given us. So that's trimmed the entire clip down to just the, 20, the 30 odd seconds that I need. I then simply go to File and uh, Export. I'm going to export in 720p, which is what I generally use. Um, export to my, let's see, um, I'll expand this. I'll export it to my Movies folder in 720p. Um, leave it as untitled and export. And there we go, it's exporting, so it'll just take a little while to export. Bear in mind it was a two and a half gig file to begin with, so it's just going through finding the section that I've highlighted and trimming it down. Okay, so we're almost done importing here. It didn't take the five minutes it, it said initially. Uh, it took about 45 seconds to a minute to actually fully uh, trim the movie and export it. I'll quit this now and we'll go into my actual folder that I've saved it to. There we go, we can see it's saved there. It's now 27 megabytes as we can see here. And if I open this, 
It should be, yep, there we go, it's a 29 uh, second clip. So the actual part of uh, the movie I trimmed down. So now what I can do is, rather than importing the initial 2.5 gig just for this clip that I needed, I can now import this 30 meg clip. Quality will be exactly the same as the original, but I save a hell of a lot of space. It's much quicker to import, it's easier to work with, and it keeps your project nice and tidy, nice and neat overall, because you've only got the clips you actually need in it rather than the actual full video. Um, so that's a quick and easy way to trim your clips down to the areas or the highlights that you actually need. An alternative would be to use a piece of software uh, such as Highlight Hunter. I'll provide a link to the, the software towards the end of this movie. I've already reviewed Highlight Hunter um, and that uses bookmarks in your video to create your actual highlights for you which you can then import into your project. As I said I'll uh, create a link to the review towards the end of this movie but this is just an alternative to trimming your video down to just the sections you need for your project and keeping things nice and neat while minimizing the space used on your hard disk.